hello everyone in this small tutorial we will talk about how to select the best substitution model for phylogenetic analysis usually what we do is we download the sequences from uh, NCBI or Ensemble genome browsers or UCSC genome browsers and after that we perform multiple sequence alignment and after doing the multiple sequence al alignment using different tools like uh, like uh, muscle tea coffee or others uh, then we perform phylogenetic analysis but before uh, selecting the right tree for your sequence data you need to know that what is the best substitution model we should use for our analysis so in this tutorial I'll go through the steps that how you have to do that right uh, I don't think we have to go back and to know how to download the sequences uh, if you want to know that there are tutorials available on my channel so you can watch those channels uh, uh, lectures in the uh, available on the channel for uh, downloading the sequences and next step is for example here I have downloaded the sequences of one gene with the name uh, YTHDF3 right so there are different uh, paralogs of this gene one is YDHF3 then there is YD, uh, YTHF2 then YTHDF1 right so there are three paralogs so first thing I do is to go on the uh, MAGA software and then MAGA software I will first align the sequences uh, Click, uh, click the build alignment then create new alignment then click OK so the sequences I have are protein sequences so I'm just selecting here protein and after selecting that you just do control all copy those sequences and go back on the mega and paste those sequences and then select all these sequences and then go on alignment and click align plus all and I'm just selecting the default options and uh, after doing that it will take a bit of uh, time few seconds depending on the number of sequences you have if you have a lot of sequences then it will take a lot of time uh, I have also significant number of sequences but hopefully it will take not much than few seconds now yeah now it's almost done yeah so after doing this what you need to do is first save this alignment for example save session and I'm here saving it as alignment file mega right now this file is saved here I just close this alignment and now what I have to do is to go on the model and find the best DNA protein models for the analysis right so now I have to open this alignment file here I just click the alignment file and then open and just selecting the default parameters uh, method is maximum likelihood and then I click OK right so after clicking OK all the uh, substitution models uh, available on MAGA will be checked here one by one and after checking it will give us some results and those results will depict uh, which or uh, which substitution model we have to select for example first thread is checking uh, JTT plus F model, then Dayhoff plus G plus I plus F model, then JTT plus G model, and so on and so forth. So it will take a bit of time here. It can take uh, from even few minutes to hours. So let's wait uh, and see how it will uh, show us the results. Right. Now, uh, as you s can see that. Uh, the process is al almost done uh, you can see the progress is almost ending here all different types of trees uh, potential uh, substitution models you for the trees are checked one by one uh, and it's almost <coughs> finished let's wait for a few more seconds probably and then it will show the results of the of the best substitution model which uh, MAGA software has selected for the phylogenetic analysis of the given sequences we have. Now here you can see that the results are completed, the uh, everything is done. 
so this is the result of the best substitution models uh, these are uh, sorted based on the uh, based on the BIC and AIC values and uh, while looking for the best substitution model what you have to do is to look at the BIC and AIC values uh, what are the basic uh, algorithm behind these two values is beyond the scope of the uh, tutorial here but here you can see that uh, what you uh, have to see actually is the, the, the minimum BIC and AIC values is the best potential model you have to use for your phylogenetic analysis so according to uh, our result JTT plus G is the best substitution model here and uh, and this one the last one uh, this is the poor substitution model so while building the tree uh, we have to look for these these uh, options so uh, first one two three four five six seven seven uh, models uh, which are uh, best include JTT so we have to look for the JTT model so what you need to do is to go on the phylogeny construct the maximum likelihood use the data and from here it's already JTT selected so you can see if there is any JTT plus I uh, model which is the best model but uh, unfortunately that is not available here so the best one according to Meta, Mega software would be JTT model right so let's see if the, J, the JTT plus F is available JTT plus F JTT plus I plus F so we have to select uh, we can uh, select this one JTT plus F model here where is that this one I is missing so but this is the best one available and after doing that you just click the build phylogenetic tree and the model selected is JTT plus frequencies it will take a bit of time few seconds more and the tree is done so this is the best uh, model uh, phylogenetic tree available uh, using the best possible uh, substitution model. So here you can see that why THDF3 is clustered together. Then there is a cluster of uh, why THDF1 and there is an outgroup of why THDF. So I think that's clear for you that how you have to go through the steps and select the best substitution model and build the phylogenetic tree. If you have any questions you can ask in the comment box. Thank you. Bye bye.